Hey, if you're like me in life, sometimes things get hectic and crazy and we look at our lives and go, I'm trying to find balance or I'm trying to figure out balance. You've heard this so many times, the problem is it's wrong. And if you are focused on balance, you're probably gonna end up burning out or breaking your life. So today we're gonna talk about the goal, which is harmony, and the differences between balance and harmony. Let's talk about these right now. So number one, the difference between balance and harmony is balance is trying to give equal energy to all things. What that means is like I'm going to give equal to my business, equal to my health, equal to my, my marriage, equal to my parenting. Like I'm going to give equal to all of them. And the truth of the matter is it's gonna go, you're going to go crazy. You're going to burn yourself out. You're going to freak out because you're looking at everything going, I'm trying to give full to the business. And if you're like me, you have this passion to serve. It, it calls to you, right? But it's hard to give the same, let's say, eight hours to your spouse eight hours to your kid. They'll probably get tired of you, by the way, right? Eight hours to your health, you're going to break your back doing all that, right? You can't, it's hard and impossible, in my opinion, to give balance in those areas. So balance is this goal of like giving equal energy to all things, whereas harmony is the difference is being okay, right? The idea of harmony says I may have really loud drums right now and a low guitar, right? But I have a high piano or a mid piano, different tempos. And it creates this, this honest, Harmony. If you think about a song, if it's always the same beat and the same instrument, same tone, it's not a very good song, right? It's the differences that create the harmony, and that's how you should look at that aspect. Number two is balance is focusing on what's most pressing, and only that, right? I'm, hey, I'm out of balance. This is pressing. I'm giving this, and I go, oh, I gotta balance the opposite. This is taking a lot of energy. Let me balance the opposite. So I start trying to go here and I go frantically around everywhere because balance is the goal. If I'm giving this, I got to make sure I equal it out here and then I got to equal it out here and it's all over the place. And that, even me talking through it makes you have a little anxiety. I'm feeling anxious just thinking about it. But the idea is you can't do it that way. You have to not focus on just the ability to give everything in here and balance it back and forth. It's about having a harmony and being okay with those differences, right? So that's balance. Harmony is it's okay to not have all things, have all energy right now. Number three is balance means that it's wrong for one thing to have too much weight. Think about it. If I say my, my work life has too much weight, balance says that's wrong. Harmony says it's supposed to be that way sometimes. Think about the holidays. If I'm talking about balancing, right? It's holidays, family time. If I want to give family time and I want to balance that, I want to make sure I, I, uh, I, I don't have anything wrong. I got to force myself to, to make sure I'm doing this and make sure I'm doing this, but really I should cut it off from business a little bit. Spend more time with the family. And that's a good thing, right? If I, I talk about harmony and being like, my family is like the drum, right? Of, my, of the harmony of my life. And my, my business is the guitar. My marriage is the violin. And my parenting is the piano, right? I can't have all of them go at the same time, right? But there's times in the season where the heartbeat of the family it's gonna be really, really loud in the holidays. Then when January hits, the guitar goes, yeah, it picks up, that goes a little bit down, right? Down a little bit, but it's okay. And then I can make sure the violin's still there with my marriage and the piano with my parenting, right? It finds its own beautiful harmony. That's what's right, not that it's wrong because one thing takes a lot. Other thing, number four, balanced is a borrowed mentality. Meaning I look at the outside world and I go, ah, oh, I want to be like that. I got to balance what that person's doing. They had the house and the car and the money and the joy and the trips. I got to find right. I'm borrowing this mentality of what it is, what's great, trying to balance how I'm doing stuff to get to that place. And then I already feel a comparison and a less than whereas harmony you create what the harmony is for your life. You have your own specific rhythm, your own song. You don't borrow somebody else's and go, why can't I make that song fit me? I don't know, man, because it's not your song, right? That, that's theirs. You can't borrow that. You have to create your own harmony, what makes your life great. For me, for the most part, like 90% of the days, I cut it off at 9.30 or 2.30. I cut it off, 2.30 afternoon, I'm with my kids, I'm picking them up, I'm, I'm at the house, I'm throwing the football, I'm working out with my wife, we're watching TV shows, like there's things I'm doing, but that's for me, that's my harmony. There are a lot of people that would go, but Ant, you can still come home, you can work for a couple more hours, you can create this thing, you can do that thing, it'll be hours ahead. Yeah, yeah, it could be, but that'd be borrowing your mentality. I want my own harmony. Right, it's the biggest thing. And number five, balance, I believe, is a myth. I don't know if I've ever met anyone in my life who has been balanced across the board and everything or been able to maintain it, right? It's almost borderline impossible because we don't have the same emotional pull for everything. Therefore, we're not drawn to certain things and there's not enough hours in the day to be able to work on things for work and then do the same thing hour-wise for your health and the same thing hour-wise for your marriage. Think about it, a workout's an hour, date night's two, Hang with your kids one or two or three. 
but a work week is like 40 hours. Have fun balancing that. You know what I mean? It doesn't exist. The idea is to shift into a mentality of pursuing harmony, which means you create what you deem to be a beautiful rhythm for your life. Those are your top five reasons and separations between balance and harmony. Bye.